Okay, so we're going talking about auto ships. That is working smarter instead of harder because what your ultimate goal is, is to get those residual earnings. You want the people to continue to order. And if they're going to continue to order, they may as well get something free out of it. So I know a lot of times, you know, we say, well, they, you know, they just don't really want to. A lot of times they don't understand it. And it's up to us to explain it to them and explain to them, you know, what the benefits are. Because so many times, I don't know if y'all have, but I have been burned by auto ships. You know, you can't turn them off. They just keep shipping the same crap every single month, even though you don't want it. But this is, they send you a reminder, first of all. You can change the products. You can change the date. Now you can skip dates and keep, you can skip months and still keep your points. You don't have to wait to use your points anymore. You can use them as soon as you do it. But it's crazy not to stay on that um, if you're going to order anyways, because this is people that order anyways that are not using the auto ship. I don't understand that. But that gives you an idea at the beginning of the month how many people or how many points you've got in your bank. I mean, that's just free money, y'all. That's not any, there's no work to that. If you don't ever do anything, another thing, those people who have their orders set up, the order month after month, that is your residual earnings. You don't ever have to do another thing to get that money. That is something that you do not have to work for. That's why you want to make sure you build that up. I've got, and I will tell you guys, that's one thing that I really concentrate on. And if I get a notification that some, if I, get, I have 100% auto ship sign up. 100%. There has been maybe one person that was just so adamant about not doing it out of all of them this whole year. And I've just started this at the beginning of the year um, because I saw the value in it. So um, if they, if I get a notification that they canceled their auto ship, I send them an email telling them I got the notification and asking them if they're unsatisfied with the products, if they're unsatisfied, you know, why they did it. And, and you would not believe how many people said, well, I didn't need those products that month. Well, you know, you just lost all those reward points from all those other months that you had your auto ship. So let's call corporate. Let's get it turned back on. We'll just skip this month. And then if you don't want next month, then, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that then. But, you know, you do know you get your notice. So obviously you got your notice and you'll get your notice next month too. But let's not. So if you call, call corporate the same day, you can get it turned back on and save those points. Just so you know. But auto ships. I mean, every single person you sign up should automatically be signed up with an auto ship. If they want to cancel it next month, they can cancel it next month, but they don't know when you sign them up, if they're going to like it or not. And you're, if, as soon as you sign them up without an auto ship, you're automatically taking $15 out of their pocket because when they sign up with an auto ship, they get $15 automatically in free product in their bank. When they do that first auto ship the next month, it's just free. And if they don't want it, they cancel it then. You know what I mean? But you, you always want to encourage them, tell them, you know, you're going to get a notice. You know, you don't want to not, you don't want to leave anything on the table that's free. And that's how I always talk about it being a rewards program, not an auto ship. And I explained to them, you know, we just, we're just going to do the default because we don't know what you're going to need next month. We don't know what you're going to need next month. And I've got a frontline, you know, I've got a frontline thread of all the people that I sign up. And um, each month I've got my separate little coaching threads too. So I sent a reminder, don't forget your auto ship. Don't forget to change your products, figure out what you need. If you need any help, let me know and I'll help you, you know? So you make sure that um, they get on auto ship. You're, you're working harder instead of smarter with not doing it because you're gonna have to sign up, uh, you know, twice as many people instead of getting those residual earnings. So. There you go on that. Okay. Let me go over. We're going to do some little housekeeping things real quick. Um, I know that we have got a lot of people, especially Tara. You guys have got a, a huge new team. I want to go over the rules of the adventure page. So everybody knows how it works. Everybody knows how it's fair. Everybody knows exactly what's going on. Um, if you add them to the page and they ask for information, that lead goes back to the person that added them to the page. If they ask for information on the adventure page, I know that you're up there, um, especially in, in Lafayette and like Cartersville, there's a lot of towns where everybody knows everybody. So the only, I don't, it, it doesn't matter if it is your cousin's wife, if somebody else added them to the page and they asked for information on the adventure page, 
it goes, the lead goes to the person who added them to that page. With that said, if you post on your personal page and somebody asks for information on your personal page, I don't care who added them to the adventure page, that becomes your lead because they're, they, they are getting the information off of your personal page. It has nothing to do with the adventure page, okay? If you post on the adventure page and someone comments underneath your post, that is not your lead. It still goes back to the person who added you. If someone private messages you and you are not their friend, you need, to, you need to add me to the chat and I will find out who added them to the adventure page. Because I tell you every single day, I probably have 10 to 20 people that private message me for information that I am not friends with. I do not keep those leads. I send them back to the person who added them to the page because I know they're not mine. They're not my friend. They didn't see anything on my personal page. They had to have got my name off the adventure page. So I will promise you, I will not do anything underhanded. And if someone sends a message to someone on the adventure that asked for information on the adventure page that they did not add they get a warning the second time they are on probation and get kicked off the adventure page for a month the third time they're banned off the page forever so um that's just it, it has to be that way because to me that's just like taking something that don't belong to you and and that's just my that's the way the rules have always been they've worked and that's how we're going to continue to do it. Um, you just, you just don't do it. You just don't take if 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 they um, if it's on that page, that is a team page. And the only way that we can keep it a team page is if everybody works together and does it exactly how it's supposed to be. So there's always things that happen. There's always accidents. People tag people that they don't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> you know, your friend, your friends on there and tags you and say, hey, you know, because they want you, you know, because you're their friend. So you just have to know that if that happens, tag, a lot of times you can see the person who added them now, but if you can't just tag me and I can go into the, um, I can get in my admin stuff and figure out who added them. So it's always best to, to tag me and I'll make sure it gets to the right person. If there is any questions about that, make sure you ask. Cause that is, that is not, that is a, not a gray area. That is black and white. And um, there are no exceptions to those rules. That is probably the only thing that I don't have exceptions to. I'm real, I'm real adamant about that. And um, anytime I see anyone from another team that's not part of the X Team Adventure, like part of my team, my downline, comment under people, they get immediately kicked off. So that would be something I would really love for y'all to help me watch um, because I've had other teams from other lines take people. So we, that is not tolerated either. Um, and I, I'm real protective over my, over my, over my cubs, y'all. <laughs> I'm very, okay. We are going to talk today about how to keep this momentum going from the BOGO day from last month, because the beginning, I don't know about y'all, but the first 29 days, we didn't have much momentum going. <laughs> and then all of a sudden that BOGO came out and it was just like, Wah! I mean, it was like everybody you know, took a, took a break for days one through 29. And then all of a sudden it was just like, whoa, I mean, it was insane. And just like you've heard say on, um, you've heard Tyler say it, you've heard John, um, you've heard John Barton say it, you've heard um, Colby say it today, but I will say it too. That was not because of a BOGO promo that we had $5 million in sales. It was because we went nuts with it. We started messaging everybody. We started telling everybody. We started calling. We started texting. We started posting. We got excited about it. And that's what made the difference. We've got to get excited about what's going on now. I think that the, the family challenge that we're doing, the eight day challenge, I think that is the greatest thing that we've done in a long time because not only are we excited about it and we're posting, but everybody that's doing it is exciting and posting too. So I want you guys to make sure that you're educating the people that are um, doing, the, doing the challenge with us and telling them when they're posting on their page, if anybody's saying, what in the world are you doing? Because we're gonna keep posting this week, it's gonna start getting good. So if anybody says you gotta make sure you tell them, look, just say, I'm going to PM you, put them in a chat with me. I'm going to tell them everything. You don't even have to do anything. 
I'll just teach you as you go. So we don't want it to, they, we don't want them to think that they have to know anything. We just want them to just go, 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 and let's do this thing. And we're going to help you. We're going to get your money back. And especially with the promo. I love the promo. Um, because one of the things that um, everybody was really worried about with, with the BOGO, everybody's got a, a surplus of product. So that's going to hurt you know, our reorders from this month for this month, right? Because nobody needs anything. So for them to come out with a sponsorship promo, that is amazing. So all those people that ordered all the people from last month, um, y'all, Tara, your team should have a ton of new people. So let's get them their 700 or $650. I am going to tell you guys that I am, I am matching that for my front line. I would encourage you guys to do the same thing. Match it. Because five people, your front line sponsors, that is 2,000 points. That is a manager. That, that retention rate for the manager is exponentially high that they're not going to leave. So not just that, but you're going to make, um, you're going to make $200 commission off of that. And um, that's only $100 off of that one person. So, and that doesn't mean that they're not going to do more than five. So I would challenge you to double that. I would challenge you to, um, to contact everybody on your team and tell them, if you sign up five people this month, corporate's going to give you $100. I'm going to give you $100 too. Get your people motivated. Sometimes it takes, it, it takes um, spending money to make money. I'm sure Tara can can tell you that owning a business you know you got to a lot of times you got to spend money to make money you gotta and but it works i'm telling you it works if you're motivating them it, it, it at least gives them a taste of it to see i mean they're gonna get somebody that's new that's under 30 days they sign up five people and you match that that's 750 dollars that they're going to get i mean that's that's some life-changing money y'all for somebody you know what I mean that's some good money especially paying for your that pays for their products and pays for this month's products if nothing else without I mean they just reimburse themselves so um, the way to get keep momentum coming going is constantly have greater goals so if you hit one rank then have a goal to keep going. It, you know, a lot of times you don't get to a top of a mountain and say, hey, I think I'll climb another mountain, you know, but some, I can't remember who, who wrote that, that somebody put a quote that um, successful people always think of the next greater goal. You get up to the top of the one mountain and you say, oh, what's the next mountain I'm going to climb, you know? So, um, let me see what else is on here. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to say this, and I think most of you on here have done it, but the, the ones of you who have posted your goals, thank you, because um, those are, you guys are the ones that are going to succeed. When you have posted goals and you have broken them down, you know where you're going and you know how you're going to get there. You know, you can't just say, hey, I'm going, to, I'm going to be platinum. I'm going to be platinum manager this month. I'm going to get 15,000 points. I'm going to, um, I'm going to help my team. I'm going to, no. Where are those 15,000 points coming from? You know what I mean? You've got to break it down. But when you take that, when you take those points and you say, so-and-so, I'm going to promote so-and-so to this, and that's going to be this many points, and you break it down and you see it, that's when you will succeed at that. Um, if you have not posted your goals, if your team has not posted your goals, I would really, really encourage you to do that. The, the ones of you that have posted it and broken it down and done what you're um, done it the way that you're supposed to do it, those are the ones that I'm going to be spending my time on because those are the ones that I know that are going to be successful and want to be successful. So coachable, being coachable. Um, if you want to get to the next rank, the power of five is the way that you get there. That is what you've got to do. If you get five people signed up, you are a manager. If you get five managers, 
What does that give you? Gold manager that qualifies you for Park City. You get five gold managers. What does that get you? Platinum director, guys. That's 50,000 points. Five gold managers is 50,000 points. Well, what happens? That qualifies you for the cruise. That qualifies you for Sundance. That qualifies you for $1,500 cash. But then if you get five platinum directors, that qualifies you for Dubai and Bora Bora. And that makes you a silver executive. And then five silver executives as your ambassador. So it's the power of five and you got to start somewhere. So just start finding your five managers. Get yourself to gold because it's just getting that first trip under your belt. There, it's life changing. I, I cannot wait until Luann and Tara both go because it is life changing. You won't, you won't look back. I'm telling you, you won't look back. Um, Kelly has been and Bria has been. Um, and I'm telling you, those, those trips, when you get that one-on-one -on -one time with, the, with those executives and you get your mentor telling you how to get to the next level and you tell, and you, they show you the vision and they tell you how to, how to build that vision and then you build those relationships with other people that are at the same rank as you and you grow together. I mean, it's just like you just feed off each other. It's the most amazing thing ever. And I, again, I'm going, to, I'm going to mention St. Louis too. Um, I think, let me see. Actually, I think everybody on here is going to St. Louis. Um, Angie and Tracy, I think y'all are still thinking about it. But um, I think everybody on here is going. That's going to be life-changing, guys. Life-changing, too. So um, I'm real excited about what's going to happen. I'm real excited about, um, about our month this month. I'm excited about the coaching um, that you guys did today. Y'all were fantastic. And I, I said this before, you, before a lot of you got on, but day three coaching, y'all were amazing. Um, it was so good and I'm so proud and um, um, the first two days were, were amazing too and I can't wait till tomorrow. Um, I think Angie and Tracy and Melanie and Deborah have it tomorrow. Y'all, y'all, the schedule everybody's put out, everybody's doing exactly what they're supposed to do and it's just like, you know, I'm just like, oh, okay, <laughs> this is, this is great because everybody, everybody is taking accountability because it is yours. It's not mine. This, the, that, that team, that, that page has got your people in it. It's got the ones that, that are signed up on your team and you're taking accountability and you're taking the leadership role and they're going to see you as leaders. And that is just really exciting to me. So, um, I've got to get off here quickly, but I want to tell you really quick, again, the ones that just, just got on, I scheduled a post at nine o'clock that went on talking about auto ships. And at 9.30, there's going to be a surprise participation challenge that is being posted. I've already scheduled it to be posted. And anyone that signs up for auto ship, um, signs up for their auto ship, um, or I, put, I think I said signs up for the rewards program, I think is how I put it. Um, you will go into a drawing for to pick a prize, but you will automatically get $25 cash added to that prize. That's coming from me. So um, that's how important I think it is. I'm going to do several surprise challenges where they're going to get to pick a prize plus an extra um, an extra reward, which is going to, those are going to be fun. But um, the challenge today, y'all, we've already had over 300 people added to the adventure page just from today. And you know what? Those are your leads. If, if the people who, and this is another thing about the adventure page too, if the people who added them to the page are not distributors or they don't use the products anymore or they're not a distributor anymore, then whoever added them, I looked them up and whoever added that person gets the lead. So just because the person's not on there anymore doesn't mean that, um, doesn't mean that you're just screwed. No, it goes to the next person up. So just so y'all know how that works too. Um, so those are y'all's leads. So these people that are, all these people that are adding 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and some of them have added more than 10, um, those are all gonna go back to you guys to help them get their five people, help them get to manager. So who's excited about that? That's free leads, y'all. And y'all know the people, the only people you talk to from there are the people who are asking for information. And I've, I've been in sales a long, long time. 
And y'all, we used to pay good money for lead sheets. We would pay hundreds upon hundreds, sometimes thousands. The, companies, the company that I worked for would pay huge money to get sheets of people who were interested in what we had. And even then we'd have to call and most of them wouldn't be interested, you know? This is like, this is gold, people. You know, they, you were, they're seeing testimonies and saying, I need that. What is that? And it's just like, there you go. So um, Sunday night, we are going to do again uh, what we did last week at 8.30. We're going to bring on two new people. I mean, we're going to open it up for new people to just to do a basic, um, basic Zoom introduction type thing for anybody who wants to know if it's for them. We had two new people um, come on last Sunday night and both of them are, have shared and both of them have, are in the training and um, both of them have got chats going now just from being on there last Sunday night. So it works. So encourage your teams just to get on here. It's 20 minutes. Um, and I'll, that was the first one I did. I will get it down to a science if we do them every week, which I'd like to because we've got so many people joining. Um, you know, that's the ticket is getting them opening up an audience for um, with them because they've got people that you don't know. So does anybody have anything? I do. Hey, Keith. Hey, how are you? Good. I got a question. A guy was just asking me. Um, when you're doing the system, the eight-day detox, or just basically the system, does he have to give up tobacco products or smokeless products, anything like that? No. Okay. He had heard that from somewhere, buddy, and I said, well, that's the first time I've heard that. No. Okay. No, I'll let him know. Great, too, because that'll make him healthy, but no, you don't have to. All right. I'll let him know. Thanks. You're very welcome. Anybody else? Yep, me. Hey. Hey. I just want to say how proud I am for my team that, that did such a great job today. They did yes, awesome. Did. I was so awesome. proud too. I was yeah. excited. That was good information. Yeah. Everybody did excited. great. Yeah. yeah. I'm real proud of everybody. So. Can I say yeah. something? Yes. Hey, um, if there's anybody, I know Charles is on here, but anybody on day seven coaching on here, can we stay on here for like just five minutes? After they said yes, and you're okay. Like we're not going over your time until like you have to pay or anything. Oh no, I get unlimited. I have paid for it every month. Oh yay! Okay, we'll only need five minutes. I just want to. Um, I have one question about coaching. I'm gonna go back and look at today because I was I was busy, and so I didn't get to get on all the time. But are y'all doing trying to do it roughly every hour? Because I think every two hours is too long. But is every hour too close to posting or you don't want to go live every hour but I mean something I think every, did every two hours didn't you yeah, we did about an hour an hour and a half hour some, and a half some were okay. an hour but some most of them were like hour and a half two hours okay all right thanks so I'm kind of got cluttered but it yeah, and then and then like the schedule is is just like the times is just so I know when I can go in um and I think I overlapped yesterday didn't i you did i did yep. but that's because they didn't do it on the time that they said they were going to <laughs> <laughs> they they gave me a schedule and then didn't follow it so um so i think i overlapped somebody but that's why i asked for the times um so those of you that are doing it i think i've got day four's times and um i've already talked to, the, to stacy on day five and six and then um seven and eight will get me there so Anybody else got anything? Y'all, this is exciting. Uh, is this not great? Y'all like my prize board? Is it not so ghetto? <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't get the post-it notes to stick on the board, so I had to use tape. And then I used just a dry erase marker. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, God, I hope nothing happens because I won't know who got what. And then um, so just so y'all know, too, how the prizes are going to work. Whoever wins your prize, I'm going to connect you with that person so you can send them out. Charles, Charles sent me his, um, his he did $25 cash. He sent it to me and I've already sent it to that person. So you're good. And um, um, I think everybody else already, I have tagged them up. So that's how that's going to work. So when you see, um, like Tara, want, um, 
Tara won uh, flush. So Vicky gave flush. So I said, Vicky, contact Tara. She won the flush. So that's how I'll do it with y'all. So just be watching for that. All right, anybody else? I'm going to go live and give away uh, whatever I'm going to give away for the second one. And when y'all are doing that, just so you know, Bria, um, just have them post on their page one time. We're not going to have them post more than once a day. And uh, we're going to skip the next two days posting on their own page. So I think just every day is too much. I don't want to throw up on the people that are watching their page. So that's why we did adventure page today. And then tomorrow we're going to do adventure page again. So. Okay. Yeah. And we'll, I mean, we'll be running by our challenges by you anyway, to make sure you think they're, you know, okay. And I think tomorrow we can, we're not posting at all. We can sweep them. I think tomorrow is just commenting on something. I don't think they're posting on their pages at all tomorrow. So, and then we'll do a halfway and then, yeah. So anybody got any suggestions on, if y'all can think of any, uh, any participation challenges we're running out of ideas <laughs> well we're not we're not telling you ours yet because we're we're like the last day well i know so we're, but if y'all think, think of them so okay that we think of extra ones yeah. i'm just teasing i'm just teasing i need extra ones too so i'll think of something i need some good ones if i'm going to give away extra cash with whatever so y'all and and the whole point like is we want to expand our audience we want to share this with people who haven't heard about it we want to um that's the whole point of the, you know supporting our our team but also helping to grow our businesses you know we're giving away product we want to grow our businesses and we're giving away mm -hmm. free stuff so just um that's what Dude, make it a challenge that they have to get five people to let them post on their own on their timelines oh that might be a good idea for because that's where that's worth the money right there it is I'll do it for free. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll do it for free too. <laughs> so, all right. I love you guys and I'm proud of all of you. And we're going we're gonna to blow this month up. It's only the fifth, six, it's the six. So um, we have a little bit of a slow start. And I didn't even shout out Bria. Bria went back to work. I was going to say. Oh, no. oh my God. I thought about that when I was holding the baby, but. I'm sorry, I will get your shout out. But she got a she got an ultimate today, her first day back to work. So hey, Bria. Woo so horrible. I'm so sorry. No, I'm it's sorry. fine. I shouted myself out and I told you I was getting it anyway. And we, we celebrated, so it's okay. Well, I know, but I still should have shouted out. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, okay, day I sevens, just stay on for five minutes. I just want us to make sure we're on the same page. You want me to stay on too? Oh yeah, can you? Okay. Angela sorry. has her hand up. Angela, Angie, unmute. Yeah, where are we supposed to post our stuff tomorrow? Huh? Where are we supposed to post our stuff tomorrow? Is it the family page or the adventure page? The family page. Okay. Everything goes on the family. Just making sure. Mm -hmm. On the family page. Everything goes on that. Anybody? Okay. It's going to be good. I can't wait. Okay. Let's leave. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. Okay.